Psalms chapter 28 A Psalm of David Unto thee God will I cry, David O Lord my rock, sure foundation Something to stand on, you're not going to uh, easily fall The Lord Jesus Christ the Bible says Be not silent to me He wants God to speak to him At least if thou be silent to me I become like them that go down into the pit. So to speak about the words of the Lord being life. Without hearing from the Lord is no life. Christians that don't read their Bible, there is no life into them. They're dead. And you want to follow this with Numbers chapter 20 verse 8 for that verse. Hear the voice of my supplication, serious prayer, when I cry unto thee. And Second Chronicles 6 13. When I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands towards thy holy oracle. Alright, here's a lifting up hands. It's a serious prayer. In this case, as we go through the entire Bible, we're up to Psalms 28. Uh, we're, we saw Solomon do it. We saw the lifting of hands in Ezra and Nehemiah. And it's not a a show of flesh like today pretty much it, it's it's a fleshy thing people just do it because look at what I'm doing I bet you they don't do it at home and the oracle is a place where answers are sought or a message or revelation from God so David wants something from God. He wants an answer. He wants the words of the Lord. And funny, today we have the Bible complete. You can find it in Walmart. You can find it in a dollar store. and it's the, most, it's the most bought book, but it's the least read book. There was a Bible in every courtroom. I don't know how many judges read it. I don't know how many bailiffs read it. There was a time that the public school system would read the Bible. Not anymore. So the oracle and what this 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 so far what this this chapter is looking at is I want an answer from God. I want his words. Not from man. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers in iniquity which speak peace to their neighbors but mischief is in their hearts two-faced God I don't want to listen to man that man may talk to me and, and speak to me and his heart may not be so many people are like that they'll say one thing to your face and they're coward they'll say something else to somebody else or believe something else in their heart be nice to you and in their heart they're just thinking of wickedness give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors give them after the work of their hands render to them their desert so that's where the phrase just desserts come from and you can find it today it's interesting I read this and I read in Ezekiel today Ezekiel 7.27 is the same phrase. Listen, these phrases come from the Bible. And men don't even know it. And David's saying, listen, as this guy, this wicked guy is, give unto him what he deserves. The New Testament is not so. Even James says. James says to the, to the twelve tribes, to the Jews, who are going to be in the tribulation, isn't this a command? You shall love love your neighbor as thyself, and you shall love thy enemies. So, the Old Testament is very different, and the the blessing and, and the curses upon Abraham was them that them that will bless you, I will bless; them that curse you, I will curse. You can find that in Genesis chapter twelve. Anybody who hated that Jew, David had a right. They had a right to pray against him, according to Genesis chapter 12, as God spoke to Abraham. 
But things changed when Jesus came on the scene and Paul came on the scene and John came and wrote, especially in 1 John, how we're to treat our, our neighbors and our brethren and everybody. Because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands. He shall destroy them and not build them up. No regard for God and complete uh, uh, rebellion of what God says and what God has done. In other words, they don't want to have anything to do with God at all. Blessed be the Lord, because he has heard the voice of my supplication. David acknowledges that God listens. The Lord is my strength. And my shield, the shield of faith. Over in Ephesians chapter 6, I believe it is. My heart trusts in him. Well, that shield protects the heart. Your faith in the Lord is what is what you're trusting. And I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song will I praise him. And this song here, how, how many Bibles has it been read in? How many Bibles has it been in Psalms 28? It's still praise the Lord as we're studying it in 2013. The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. The Jews, the high priest, the Messiah, the king. We're all anointed. I believe maybe even the Lazarites were anointed after they, I believe. Save thy people, the Jews, and bless thy inheritance, the land and the Jews. Feed them also and lift them up forever. Take care of the Jews, Lord. Help them. And that's one of the prayers that, that Paul has for the Jews, that they'd be saved. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God his Son not sparing, sent him to die, I scarce can take it in. That on the cross, my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died.